Welcome to Brain Academy. Okay, let's talk about applications of Pascal's law now. Applications of Pascal's law. Why do you need to study Pascal's law? Like, where is it used? Is there any use of Pascal's law? Like, there are. So there are some applications of Pascal's law and with the help of Pascal's law, there are lots of machines that have been built. So they are called hydraulic machines, hydraulic machines. So in hydraulic machines, we have hydraulic, hydraulic lift, lift, hydraulic press, hydraulic brakes in your car, right? So how does uh, these machines work? Now, what these machines do is they act as a force multiplying machine. So they help to multiply force. They act as force multipliers. How do these machines like act as force multiplier and what's their relation with Pascal's law? Is there any relation? Of course there is. So we are gonna look how Pascal's law is related with these hydraulic machines and how these hydraulic machine act as force multipliers. So one of the questions that will be asked or that may be asked in your examination is uh, hydraulic machines, hydraulic machines act as force multiplier. How? Or prove it. So now we're gonna prove how these hydraulic machines work as force multipliers using Pascal's law. So the basic structure of hydraulic machines is very simple. Hydraulic machines, all the hydraulic machines have the same basic structure. It looks somewhat like this. Okay. So at one side it's small, at another side it's huge, big. Okay, and there are two pistons fitted here. So here is one piston and here you have another piston like okay like water sprays okay these pistons so let's name this piston mr x and let's name this piston mr y and let's uh, fill this with water and that's hydraulic machine for you this is hydraulic machine that's the basic structure of hydraulic machine now, how these hydraulic machines act as force multipliers? Now, let's consider uh, here in piston X, the pressure is uh, P1 and the force here is, let's say, F1 and the area of this piston, like this area, let's say that's A1. And for Mr. Y here, let's call the pressure at piston Y P2 and the uh, force B, let's say, F2 and the area let's say A2. Now according to Pascal's law what we have is the pressure at Mr. X is equal to pressure at Mr. Y or piston Y. Why? Because there is liquid and liquid transmits pressure equally. That's Pascal's law. So this Pascal's law is helping for these hydraulic machines to act as force multiplier. How? So we know the general formula of pressure is force by area and here also it's force by area but uh, for piston x the force is f1 and the area is a1 for piston y force is f2 and area is a2 now what we are going to do is we are going to put uh, these areas at one side and force at another side so let's move uh, this area here so we have a2 divided by a1 is equals to f2 divided by f1 so we move the force here and area there that's it if you look at this uh, equation a little bit closely you'll find that these really act as force multipliers how so let's look here so we have these two are equal from pascal's law and we know by looking at this machine that the area 2 is bigger this area is bigger than area 1 this area so we know that if area 2 is greater 
than area 1. So this area 2 is greater than area 1. Then, then this force F2 must be greater than F1 for them to be equal. So let's say the area is 20, second area, the area of this piston, and the area of this piston is, let's say, 10. Now, for, the, for, for them to be equal, like the second force, or F2, must be greater than F1. So if the force uh, at this piston is, let's say, uh, 50 Newton, then uh, it must be the force at uh, the second piston must be 100 for them to be equal. So 50, if you cut this, you get 2, and here again you get 2, and they are equal. Now, when sec the A2 is greater than A1, F2 also must be greater than A F1 for them to be equal. So here, with Pascal's law, what we got is, if there are different areas, and one of them is small, one of them is big, then the force will be less here, and the force will be more here. From Pascal's law. So now this is acting as a force multiplier. So what this means is this force is less but this force is more. Why? Because the pressures are equal and because of these things. So when you apply a little bit pressure, so here less force, let's say you apply 50 Newton force here in this hydraulic machine, what will happen is in this piston the force will be converted into 100 Newtons. So, so the force is multiplying by twice. Hence, these hydraulic machines act as force multipliers. Hence, hydraulic machines machines act as force multipliers. And that's the solution for your question. Okay, let's look at some of the applications. So I talked about that these hydraulic machines are of different categories. Uh, let's look at hydraulic lift for now. Hydraulic lift. So this has the same basic structure. You have piston. Okay, there is a huge piston. There is small piston. And let's say there is a huge piston. Now. If you apply even a less force here, what will happen is the force at this piston, let's say this is piston X and piston Y, this force will be multiplied because they act as force multipliers. And if you put a car here, okay, this does not look like a car, but imagine it's a car, again Einstein. So what this piston will do is, even if you apply less force, with huge force, this piston will lift the car up. And that's your application of Pascal's law. It helps, it's helping to lift the car by multiplying the force. So that's one application. Another application is hydraulic brakes. Hydraulic brakes. So they act in the same way. Uh, so, okay, there is a little bit curved. Okay, let's make the same basic structure for now. What happens is, okay, here again, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, these are filled with water, okay? Don't forget that. So here again, there we have water. So again, what happens in hydraulic brakes is here again we have two pistons and the force here you need to apply less force and the force will be multiplied here. There will be high force. Now this piston is attached to your tires. Okay, okay, this is a tire. You have your car tire. Okay, and this piston is attached to the pedal, your brake pedals. So you have your brake pedals brake pedals now when you apply even less force in these brake pedals or less force in this piston the force will be multiplied and this piston will help to stop the tires and it acts as a brake so that's another application of pascal's law for you so these are some basic applications of pascal's law and if you're in your question sorry in your exam uh, if there is a question like write any two applications of pressure Sorry, Pascal's law, you write hydraulic lift and you can write hydraulic brakes. And that's how it works. Thank you.